practically speaking, a 50-50 sleeve is wrong. Why? Well, because a 50-50 sleeve has the forearm and the hindarm seam aligned perfectly straight so that when the sleeve goes into the armhole and it's hanging from the jacket, the arms are in this position that I have now. Nobody stands like this. Naturally, whenever we are relaxed, our arms are slightly rotated inwards. And whenever I bend my arms, you can see it bends towards my center front. It doesn't bend forwards like this in a straight line or outwards. Now, of course, I'm not saying people stand like this unless you're having a duel, but normally whenever we are relaxed, we have our elbows facing the sides slightly. So the question becomes, how do we turn our curved cylinder, our bent cylinder into a cylinder that goes into the armhole and is slightly rotated inwards. The answer to that is in the position of the forearm and the hindarm seam. Where they fall on the armhole, once the sleeve is locked in, plays a very important role. So, you might wonder, where should the hindarm and the forearm seam be on the armhole? So, I want you to imagine the armhole being divided into four parts. Like so, like so, and like so. First quarter, second quarter, third, fourth. The hind arm should be on the upper back quarter of the armhole, so that when it falls down, it is slightly visible from the side. Why? Well, the higher you go on the armhole, the more visible your hind arm is going to be from the side. Whenever it is visible from the side, it means that it is more on the side. Why is this important? Well. Whenever this bent shape falls more on the side, it means that your elbow shape on your sleeve is also rotating to the side, which is what we want. On the other hand, we want the forearm seam to be positioned on the lower front quarter, so that when it falls down, it is hidden underneath and behind the forearm roll. Why? Well, again, the lower we go on the armhole, the more hidden our seam is going to be under our arm. And because we have this curvature on the forearm seam as well, and that curvature is really on the inner part of our arm, we want that seam to be more on the inside. So, the combination of these two positions is going to create a sleeve that goes into the armhole and has a slightly inward rotation. Let's see how this looks on paper. Here we have three different sleeves. The middle one is our 50-50 sleeve, and when I place these two on top of one another, as you can see, they match, and the sleeve itself is pretty flat. Now, on the left side, what we have is a hindarm position that is high. So if I place this on my 50-50 sleeve, what you're going to notice is that the hindarm position begins a lot higher on the top sleeve run. So, that means that the undersleeve becomes wider to wrap around to the front. Whenever we make this up, we get this sleeve. Now, if I try to flatten this, what you will notice is that the hindarm seam is visible and the elbow is slightly outwards. If I take these two and I hold them up and you look at them, you can see that the elbow of this one is slightly more to the side whereas this one is perfectly straight aligned with the back. Now, on my right, I have another sleeve whereby the forearm seam is extended to fall on the inside of the armhole, on that lower front quarter. So if I place the 50-50 sleeve on top of this one, you will see that there is an extension. Now, that means that the undersleeve becomes slightly narrower, and so whenever we make these two sleeves up, we get a sleeve like this. As you can see, the seam is not visible on that front edge anymore. And when I rotate the sleeve and I flatten it, what you would notice is that the forearm seam falls on the inside. What we want is a combination of both of these two. And if we do that, we get this sleeve. The hindarm seam is slightly visible from the side, and the forearm seam is slightly hidden. When the sleeve goes into the armhole, we have the elbow facing outwards to some extent and the forearm seam inwards.
Now that we know about the correct position of these two seams, let's talk about pitch. We're planning to make the most comprehensive series on tailoring that has ever existed available for the entire world. We can never develop a deep understanding of our surroundings, of the world, of our life, of ourselves, if we never ask why. Why is this? Why on earth? Why? 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 Why would someone... It already looks like a dress. Every single step is formulated and clearly articulated. Di 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 direction. My name is Reza. This was today's lesson. I look forward to seeing you in the next one. Ciao.